Okay, I'm going to show you how to do dividing uh, one, uh, sorry, two digits by one digit number with and without remainders. Alright, so we're going to start off with uh, without remainders. Okay, and uh, we're going to do this uh, with long division. So we start with our, our little house, if you want to call it that. And uh, we start with... Um, we're going to start with 9 uh, divided into uh, 108, okay? Now, if you know your times tables, you'll immediately know whether or not this is on the time, the 9 times table. And uh, uh, one thing that you could remember to do is, uh, if you kind of know the times tables, but you're not uh, super good at them, uh, is to write the times tables down the down the side here, okay? So uh, one times nine is nine. Two nines are eighteen. Three nines are twenty-seven. Four nines are thirty-six. Five nines are forty-five. Six nines are fifty-four. Okay, and so on. Okay, and you would just carry them on down here, and then it's very easy to tell. Um, what number is, is closest to what you need um, over here, okay? So, uh, let's, uh, okay, so we go, what, uh, nine goes into one zero times. So we put the zero. I like to uh, remind people to put the zero in to make sure that they are putting uh, the answers into the correct columns here. Uh, sometimes if you leave the zero out, uh, people will accidentally put the, their answers into the wrong columns and they'll get, uh, usually, numbers that are either uh, way too big or way too small. Okay, so now, <coughs> we went 9 times 1 and 0, okay? Now we're going to go nine, time, 9 into 10. Okay, how many times does 9 go into 10? Well, it goes once. Okay, and... That leaves us with one left over. We bring down the eight. Okay, so now we're going nine into 18. How many sets of nine are there in 18? Okay, well, there are two sets of nine in 18. So we can subtract that out. Should leave us with zero, okay? So, that means that um, 108 divided by 9 equals 12. Okay? And, of course, you should uh, always check your work. So, you could do it with uh, multiplication. You can go 9 times 12 and then work that out. You would find that it's 108. All right? But, again, if you know your times tables really well, uh, you would... Uh, immediately know that that is correct, but you should always still um, check your work. Okay. All right, now the next one is uh, going to be with remainders. Okay. Um, and... Okay, so we're going to take 75, and we're going to divide it by 9. Okay. All right, so... Same thing as before, um, I look at my 9, does 9 go into 7? No, it doesn't, so I put a 0 here. Um, again, uh, don't forget your uh, times tables list down the side. If you are not uh, super skilled with the times tables. Okay, um, 9 goes into 75. Uh, well... I know, because I've done this part here, I know that uh, 9 times 8 is 72. And I would have gotten that if I had continued uh, the times tables down the side here. So, I know that the closest I can get, <clears throat> I know the closest I can get uh, to 75 is this 72 here. So I'm going to write 72 here, and then I'm going to write 8 up here, all right? 
but that means that we are going to have a remainder, so we'll have to continue beyond the decimal here. And it's very important that you remember to put the decimal after the whole numbers. Um, otherwise, again, your answer will be wrong. Okay? And we subtract 72. Again, I got the 72 from over here. Okay, so 75 subtract 72 is 3. This is understood to be a 0 here, so I bring down the 0, which makes this 30. Okay, so now I'm asking myself, right, how many times does 9 go into 30? Well, I see over here that the closest I could come to 30 on the 9 times table is 27. And I ask myself, right, how did I get 27 on the 9 times table? Well, I multiplied 3 times 9. So that means over here, above the, above the uh, 30 and above the 0, uh, I'm going to write 3, because 3 times 9 is going to give me 27. I write the 27 down here, and then I'll subtract. Now, you should notice by this time that I'm basically uh, right, uh, I'm going to be in the same situation as I was here. I'm going to have 30 because I have to bring down another 0 here. So this is going to make this 30 again. I had a 30 here. So that means that, the again, the closest I can get is 27, which means up here I'm going to write 3. So because 3 times 9 is 27, I'm going to write 27 down here. So it's going to be 30 subtract 27, and you should notice that that means that the 3 is going to be repeating. I'm going to have several, I'm going to have an infinite number of 3s. Okay, bring down the 0. That leaves me with 30. 3 times 9 is 27. I subtract the 27, and I'm left with 30 again, and that would just continue on. Now, when you have uh, anything after the whole number, it's going to be 8, remainder 3, okay? Because you just basically take the first digit after the decimal. Okay, so the question 75 divided by 9 Okay, the answer is 8, remainder 3. Okay, and that makes sense, because if you turn this into a multiplication, it would be 9 times 8. Oops. Get rid of that. That leaves us with 72, and then we add on the remainder of 3, gives us 75, and that is exactly what we had here. Okay? So, and that is how you do uh, division with remainders. Good luck.